In this video on JavaScript questions, we are going to deal with the somewhat common question for those that are fairly new to JavaScript, and that is, what is hoisting? So to hoist means to lift or raise. And hoisting in JavaScript refers to variables and function declarations that are lift or raised to the top of your code. What does that mean? Well, that simply means that you can reference them before they are declared. Because they are raised to the top, the JavaScript engine knows they exist, will not give you an error when you try to reference those variables. Or in the case of a function declaration, it will be able to find that function and invoke it. So that's basically what hoisting is. But let's take a look at some examples to illustrate it better. So let me jump to Sublime. All right, here I have a, a simple function. Hoisting is what I've called this function. It has three console log statements. The first one logs to the console hoist. Notice where hoist is declared and a value is assigned to it. Clear down here. We then declare a variable what and assign the value of this statement, variable and function declarations. And then we log to the console what is hoisted and that variable. Then the very last console log statement, hoist means and the hoist variable, which is defined here. So let's invoke this function and see what happens with these variables. One other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke that function from up here. So I will invoke it before it has been defined. So let me go ahead and save that and let's see what happens. Refresh, open the console. All right, so first thing we should notice that the, is that the function did invoke, it did execute. Even though we called it up here and it was declared at line three, it's still executed. So function declarations are hoisted to the top so that we can define them anywhere in our code and they're available for us throughout that same scope. We don't have to declare the function first and then call it down here. Now, what happened with the variables? First, the console.log statement for hoist. Notice that it indicates undefined. Now, it did not give us an error. Normally, if a variable does not exist, we receive an error in JavaScript. For example, let me just comment this out. Save it. Come back. Refresh. And notice we get an error this time, uncaught reference error, hoist is not defined. We receive that because nowhere within the scope of function hoisting is the variable hoist being declared. Therefore, we receive an error. But if it is declared, the JavaScript engine knows that it exists, and so no error is generated. However, the results are undefined because it knows the variable exists, but the variable does not have a value yet. That value is assigned down here at line 10. So it simply prints undefined. Now with these other log statements, we don't have any issues because it is accessing the variable after it's already been declared and a value has been assigned to it. So the variable hoist was hoisted to the top, meaning all the code inside this scope knew that it existed. It didn't have a value until line 10, till the JavaScript engine had processed to line 10, but this statement knew that it was that it existed, so it did not generate an error. For the function declaration, the JavaScript engine knows it exists and that it is a function, and so when we invoke it, it finds it and executes the code within. All right, let me delete this and add another example. This time I'm going to create a function expression, not a function declaration, because I want to show you the difference.
this function is simply going to log to the console the sum of two numbers. And those numbers are declared down here. We'll check out that hoisting of variables again. Now the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to call that function up here. Just like we did with the function declaration. This time it's a function expression and we'll try to call it before it is defined. All right, let me save that, jump out, refresh. We get an error. Sum is not a function. So the JavaScript engine knows that sum exists. For example, if we were not trying to invoke it, we wouldn't get the error. So it knows that it, that it exists, but it does not know it's a function because a value has not been assigned to that variable yet. And the value that gets assigned is a function. And so it's trying to execute something that it says, right now, it's not a function. I don't know that it's not a function, so it generates an error. So with the function expression, the call must be after the function is declared. Not true with the function declaration. Now, when we try to add those numbers together, we get any n. Because right now, it sees these as undefined and tries to add them together. Does not give us an error because it knows they exist, but since they are undefined, it's not able to add them together. So we place it up there. And we get the correct number. Now, what does hoisting mean for you practically. How does this affect what you do as a programmer? Well, my recommendation is that you don't rely on hoisting for variables. That you make sure and declare your variables at the top of your functions. That makes your code much more readable. People know where to go to get to see the definition of your func of your variables. They can go to the top of your function, they can see them and you're not relying on hoisting. That prevents situations like what we just saw here where the variable is currently undefined. So my recommendation is, and the recommendation of many others in the JavaScript world, is to declare variables at the top of the scope. So at the top of your function. Now function expressions versus fun function declarations, if you use function declarations, it's much more accepted to use hoisting with those. You don't run into problems with function declarations usually. And so that's more accepted in the JavaScript world. However, myself personally, I usually use function expressions for a couple of reasons. But one of those reasons is it forces me to organize my code better so that functions are declared before I use them. But as mentioned, Function declarations and the use of hoisting is much more accepted in JavaScript. So if you choose to do that, you can. Now, before we end this video, I want to make one clarification. Throughout the video, I've talked about the code variables or function declarations being hoisted to the top of your code. Well, that is just an expression. That doesn't really happen. That's just helps us remember why hoisting is the term used to describe this phenomenon in JavaScript. What really happens is the JavaScript engine goes through your code, it finds those things that have been declared, those variables and those function declaration, and it knows they exist. Then if they're encountered, it already is aware of them. So it goes all the way through your code before it starts executing line by line. We simply use the referring of it being lifted to the top to emphasize that term hoisting, which is the term that's been chosen to talk about this particular concept. I hope you found that helpful, especially if you're getting started with JavaScript.
You can subscribe to our channel. We have new video tutorials every week. You can also visit our website at allthingsjavascript.com. There we have access to courses that we create if you're interested in taking a full course plus a blog on JavaScript. Thanks for watching.